take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. A few garter snakes in the garden can be a good thing. They eat insects and other pests, so they can control those pests that harm your plants. You don't want a large number of these snakes in your garden, however. Garter snakes will call your yard home when it provides the right conditions. Let's help you make your mark. Because garter snakes can be helpful in our environment, we don't recommend killing them if you spot them in your yard. Here are some ways to safely remove them without killing. Trap and relocate snakes to wooded areas. Build a snake fence around problem areas or areas where children spend the most time. Let's help you make your mark. Common garter snakes, Thamnophis sertalis, are active mainly during the day and are active through a wider range of temperatures than most snakes. They hibernate from late October through March or early April, but can be found basking on rocks during mild winter days. Let's help you make your mark. Garter snake is a traditional American term for small harmless snakes with stripes running lengthwise along their bodies, resembling old-fashioned garters. It is more broadly used for all manner of small non-venomous snakes. Many folks don't get the illusion and call them gardener snakes instead. Let's help you make your mark. Because they have very small teeth rather than the venom delivering fangs of rattlesnakes and other vipers, their bite is generally harmless to humans and other large mammals. If your pet is the offending biter, or eats a garter snake, there's no need to be alarmed. Take our lead. Because of its teeth, the venom is released not in a single, lashing out bite, but by repeated chewing. However, if annoyed, they will bite. It will hurt, but it won't kill you. If bitten, be sure to clean the wound completely and get a tetanus shot, as you should for any type of bite. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.